I like to say that people who work in this profession need um, a strong head in terms of uh, intellectual rigor, the ability to master a lot of different kind of information, and also a lot of heart. Because ultimately, um, we are in the business, we're not doing brain surgery, obviously, but we are in the business of trying to help articulate uh, valuable approaches that can help save lives. So the communications piece in health really is often very personal and can make a big difference in people's lives. People still trust their doctor, uh, but the degree of trust depends uh, on the generation of the individual. With um, more middle-aged and younger people, they look to the doctor as one of several different sources of credible health information. They consult family and friends, and they also consult online health information as a form of second opinion. And then they're able to bring that back to their doctor and, um, and therefore be better advocates for their own health. We find Twitter has been very successfully deployed by a number of clients in the form of corporate communications as a way of releasing um, material news. Likes may not save lives, but likes are another form of generating awareness. And awareness often can lead to actions such as funding, uh, people getting screened, and other forms of support. So uh, likes do play a role in uh, the full continuum of communications in health. MSL Group is particularly proud of our work with the Shriners Hospitals for Children. Uh, we have, uh, in partnership with our client, been able to um, achieve a lot of awareness building around this important service that the hospital provides for chil children in very critical need. We have made, uh, we have been awarded many different uh, accolades for this work. Um, we had a Sabre, a Silver Anvil, and many other kinds of communications awards. 